Well, well, it isn't Hollywood. What do we owe the pleasure today, Hardy? Oh, there was a, um, you know, we were here in Canada, in Ontario, and there was a little thing called uh, lockdown. Ah, lockdown, baby. So I came crawling back. <laughs> To our one listener, Mary Tess. <laughs> Shout out to Munchkins. They've been clamoring. There have been at least three people that have been like, hey, did you guys bring the podcast back? Uh, even well, Caitlin's, some of Caitlin's family was, um, was saying like, hey, what happened? I haven't heard you guys record in a long time. We broke up. We broke up. We did break up. Well, we told everyone from the start. We said... This was a lockdown pandemic project. And um, and we said, once the lockdown ends, it's pretty much over. That might have been a conversation that you had without me, but. Oh, yeah, I had that with my, <laughs> my Hollywood friends, <laughs> Leo, <laughs> um, uh, Kanye. <laughs> No, because I think the last one we did was in July. Yeah, and then we um, we had a little sit down. One of the, where did we go? We went to somebody's birthday party, and we were just talking about uh, how many. No, because we, we yeah we tried no we yeah the last one we did was July, but then we because sh- like shows started coming back. Yeah, and um, it was just hard to schedule a meeting uh, or. A, or schedule a time to record because because um we're actually recording this like you know like six o'clock and usually this is when you're off work because you're yeah. you are at work if you check out the youtube he has a it's a lovely black uh background lovely background and racist. uh racist. And, <laughs> so so i uh so i would be getting ready to do to do shows and stuff so right. it, was, it was like tough and then and then, uh, and then I saw like the, the 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 listening ship, the listening viewership, and I was like, you know what? I think uh, people that listen to this, they they're busy now. <laughs> people are out now, so because lockdown has been lifted. So yeah, makes sense. People makes are sense. out. Yeah, but some people actually were like, "Yo, I still listen to you guys. Like, I still work. <laughs> like, I still drive to work. <laughs> I still <laughs> listen to old episodes." I'm like, you can catch up, listen to all 29. <laughs> so this is number 30. And this is BFF episode number 30. We uh, we undergone a, we have undergone a, a name change. We've changed our name. Rebranded. Rebrand. It's time. This is, this is uh, the season finale of season one. <laughs> I was going to wait for season two, but, uh, you know, it's been... Has it been like five months, six months? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, because the original title was BF Episodes, which was a, uh, um, how do I explain this? It, it's a, it was a, it's like a pun. It wasn't a play. Yeah. Well, I guess it was, yeah. So it was a play on words from something we did way back when. We did YouTube videos way back in the day and we called them uh, BF Episodes. And so we just turned yeah, that from... it was like a it was like a Filipino pun. Yeah. Like BFF yeah. BF episodes. Um so so last year uh, we were thinking of a title and then we couldn't really think of one. So we're like, wait a minute. We actually titled our YouTube show BF episodes. So let's just, you know, try that again. But then as I was looking at the viewership, listening ship, whatever it's called, I was like, yo, no one's typing this you know no one's searching bff episode and even if i told people about the podcast uh it's hard to spell it's hard to say it's hard to say yeah you know because they're like what b buff episodes yeah but like what so we're like you know what let's just get back to basics dumb it down and make it as searchable as as possible and we'll see if this works. We'll see if this works. <laughs> and if it doesn't, then it actually means that we we suck. 
Well, if it doesn't work, uh, hopefully Ontario opens up again <laughs> and we will take another hiatus. <laughs> we'll see you on the next lockdown. We'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, because like this is this lockdown. It's a, it's been a few weeks. And I was like, I was looking around. I'm like, yo, I still have all this. This like equipment that we bought last year. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I, so I should use it since we since we can't go out anymore. Might as well. I got new headphones. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You you had those. Yeah, uh, those not, pink the, ones. not not the those were, they were blue. Oh blue, yeah, 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 yeah. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just figured uh, maybe if we're if we were rebranding, we might as well change it up a little bit. Same mic, different headphones. Wait, wait when when did you get those headphones? Uh, I actually got them a couple of weeks ago, uh, only because even me thinking the same thing along the lines of you of, of all this stuff and you should put it to use. We're like Caitlin and I, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, my wife and I who like maybe maybe we should do like a podcast together. Whoa. I, I, I thought about doing one just like myself, just because I had the stuff, but it's 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 tough doing a solo a solo one the speaking of that um uh wait, wait, wait anyways uh well before i get to that uh what were you what was your or what is your podcast going to be about oh i don't know these are just spitballing things like it's ideas of you know just you the, do some like, kind of like uh conventional like, unconventional relationships and all the shit that hey, yeah you could do yeah you could do something about like parenting in um welland or wherever you are <laughs> in beamsville close You're yeah close. yeah yeah beamsville close. yeah yeah or, or interracial parenting oh oh <laughs> we spank our kids what <laughs> filipinos hit each other no right. but yeah that was uh, that that was just something that again even when we were still filming that was still something that we were thinking about doing but there's a lot of planning that goes into that, right? Like you, you, you do have to lay out like a, a bit of a, you have to have a layout, a plan. You got to have a plan. Yeah. Cause I have, I've, I was actually thinking of um, a solo podcast as well. Well, this is before the lockdown. I was like, there's gotta be a way where I can use this equipment and um, not have to like schedule time. Right. You know what I mean? So like, Cause like my older inspire videos, it was just me sitting here for like two minutes, you know? So I was like, wait a minute, inspire was supposed to be, it was supposed to be a longer show about okay. like, uh, how to be happy and like law of attraction and stuff like that. But I was like, oh no, you know what? It was too serious. I, I was like, no, I, I didn't like this. Cause I, I, was, I was doing shows and so it was, it was kind of weird, you know, like doing like dick jokes at night. <laughs> and, and then in the like, daytime inspiring the day, yeah yeah like, oh just be happy first yeah be happy <laughs> with a small dick be happy yeah yeah so i was like it's was, it was kind of weird especially if um if i have like uh people that see me at shows they're like what that's the same guy <laughs> yeah yeah so i yeah so I, I i i thought about doing inspire by myself and i actually did like a test one and um it was only for like 10 minutes but it was so serious, Kev. Yeah, yeah. Too serious. And it's weird because you're, you're 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 talking to the masses, but you're really just talking to yourself at the moment, right? Yeah, it was like this. Yeah, it's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> this is Inspire. Today we're gonna talk about depression or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> how to be happy, depressed? It was kind of <laughs> tough. Yeah. And then I was like, wait a minute, no, no. when I because when I when I perform at shows, I love like playing off the crowd, like talking right. to people kind of thing. So it was kind of tough, like being all serious and like having no one in this room talking about serious stuff. So, yeah. And it's a lot easier when there's a, somebody to bounce off of. Right. Yeah. 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 Especially if like I did a, like a, like a joke in, in the, in the podcast, it's like just yeah. silence. Yeah. 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 Pause, <laughs> like, pause, pause for laughter. Pause for laughter. Yeah. Hopefully you guys in the car are laughing because <laughs> there's no one in in this room but me. <laughs> but you say that though, so you say that there there was a bit of a like a weird 
there's a weird shift between your inspire and then your your, your actual stand up. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think for the longest time, nobody really knew. Like even with Bob Saget, yeah, I think I think he was kind of a raunchy comic. But that but nobody nobody really knew because he was like Danny Tanner. Yeah, yeah. I I, I wonder if he was already. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure he was. Oh, you, I I don't think that's a learned thing. I think that's in you. I think. No, I mean, like that, I, I wonder if he was already like that, like like filthy on stage because then that's cause what then, i mean no but then like what if the what if the producers of the show saw him they're like whoa this is the guy maybe i i don't know how we got to start to be honest with you i, I like i i imagine it's stand up that he does stand up and then he got uh, recognized and then got put on a pilot um but maybe after that they asked him like okay maybe don't do those for a little bit just because of the the look that you want. But back then it was, there was no social media like now to, you know, where they would record and then put it up on the internet and they would see that, oh, Danny Tanner's actually a raunchy uh, comic. Yeah, because what was that, like in the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, so the uh, 80s. I want to say it's 90s. 90s? But I think his stand-up career was probably fairly 80s, early yeah. on, yeah. Yeah, so like, I wonder, yeah, I wonder if sort of found out, but then like, yeah, there's no internet, no Twitter back then, so they would just like write a letter, and then it would be like on Reader's Digest the next right. month or something. Speaking of though, how did how did that? I mean, he's kind of in your realm in the in the in the in the stand up comedy world. That uh, I mean, I think that affected everybody though. His death, because I was, he was like, yeah, he was like everyone's dad. If you were from yeah. that generation, even if you watch it later on in life, it's like you became like your dad. Yeah, well, like stand-up wise, I didn't actually really, I didn't see a lot of his stand-up. I just know him from like Full House or Fuller House. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, yeah, it was. It's like it's tough because it, he he just performed on I think Saturday night, and then like Sunday the morning before. was the when they found. They found him. Yeah, he put a he put a post out there. He was like, "I'm uh, I love this shit, you know. I'm addicted again." And then you know, it's like you're on the highest of high highs, you know. But and obviously, it's still sad. What a way to go out, feeling like at like you're back on that, like you're at the peak again, as opposed to like somebody, you know, like those comics who pass away uh, at their They're lowest like, of the sad. low. Yeah, like yeah, he passed yeah, yeah. at like he was he. The last thing he said was like, "I love this shit. I'm addicted," and he was riding this high, and then, and then he left. Yeah, yo, I was um, I wanted to watch uh, cause I, I actually watch uh, a lot of Full House, and like, <laughs> did you watch Fuller House? I watched a bit of it. I mean, the nostalgia was there. Um, but it didn't really get me as much as the act, like the original Full House did. I watched it. I loved it. The whole series. A Fuller House. You're mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the okay. finale, amazing. Sad? Uh, it's more like happy, sad. Oh, okay. But yeah, great finale. And um, I was, I was going to watch it because I, I have, it's on, it's on Netflix. I was going to watch Full House, but then I watched like the first like scene. I couldn't do it. I'm like, no. Let's do, let's oh, you that. tried to watch it after you heard of his right passing. now. Yeah, it was Ooh. like today. Ooh, Ooh. that's tough. I couldn't watch it. Yeah, and he was he was pretty young too. I think he was like 60, 60 something or 50 65. Something? 65, 65, still young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what We're a way older. to go. We're getting older, Kev. Uh, this is a 2022. We are we are both hitting a milestone uh, age. Fuck yeah! I mean, in a few months, more so me than you, but yeah, we'll be hitting forty. Oh my god! What does that feel like? It it it, it was like hitting me today because I went on this uh, date. <laughs> you went? Oh, where'd you meet her? It was on uh, the Bumble, the dating app. Nice. Okay. So we've been, we've been talking for a few days and uh, we're supposed to like go for dinner. Uh, but then the lockdown came. So we're like, well, 
because we were supposed to meet up like last Saturday. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the lockdown happened. So I'm like, um, you still want to meet up or? Because <laughs> we can't go, we can't go anywhere. Yeah. And then she's like, um, actually, it's kind of cold. You know, because I'm like, that's the only thing you can do. Just like walk around outside. Yeah. So she's like, and then, then I don't know if you remember last Saturday here, it was like minus 20. I don't know what it was there in, in uh, yeah, Gainesville. It, it was cold. It was cold. Yeah. So then luckily, luckily she said it's cold because I actually didn't want to go. I was I was not looking forward to this. I was like, if she wants to meet, you know what I mean? You're so cold. You're walking outside. Ugh, it's too wait, much. Wait, so hang on, hang on. So you didn't want to go on the date because of the weather? Or because of like the weather. Just, oh, okay, okay. I thought it was like there was no interest or something like that. And you were no, like no. A, pit, a pity thing or something. No, it's like too cold. Like I get cold just like walking to the store from yeah. the car. And yeah. then, you know what I mean? You have to like, talk and stuff. It's tough. So, so she was like, hey, let's just wait till the you know the lockdown ends or whatever i'm like all right cool but then she goes actually you know what uh malls are open mm-hmm. we can mm-hmm. meet up at a mall like wait a minute you're right we could so we met up at square one this afternoon and um it was weird okay <laughs> i have to have to, I have to admit. well i mean like you can't sit down anywhere you can't really like you're just constantly walking we're just constantly walking and um, we walked around and uh, it's tough because you're wearing like winter stuff. Yeah, it's hot inside. And you're wearing a mask. So it's it's so tough to like talk. I'm like, I'm like what? What did she say? Because usually I can like, if I, if I can't hear you, I can just like see your lips, you know? Right, like, okay. right. I yeah. can, I'm like, okay, I, no, I kind of know what they said. But here, I don't know what she's saying. It's like there's a mask, and I'm like, okay, because uh, it was actually kind of nice outside. So we got we got bubble tea, and then we we sat outside for a bit. But um, oh man, those those dates, like walking around dates, because I actually had a um another date in the summer. You whore! I've been on two dates uh, in the past two years. <laughs> My other date that I had. <laughs> <laughs> was that, was that uh, he was at this uh, what was it called a gorge or something it was like a Alora gorge no it was it was kind of like that it was like a because another um uh another lady on bumble because mm-hmm. uh, usually the first dates um you know you go for dinner or, or drinks or something like that right but she was like no 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 uh let's try something different I'm outdoorsy. And she's like, are you outdoorsy? And you're like, you know, like, it's like a, like a job interview, right? You're like, Kev, are you, do you love people? Like, I love people. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you like hiking? Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> all the time. So all the time. She was, she was like, do you love the outdoors? I'm like, I adore the outdoors. So she took me to this, uh, it was like in Caledon, it was like a, I wouldn't say like a mountain, but it was like a hill. You go up this hill, and then you it look might as down. well have been a mountain, I guess, buddy. Uh, you go, you look down, and then there's like these rocks. It was, it was actually pretty nice, but the whole time I'm walking, it's summer, Kev. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm, and we're going up this hill, and I'm like out of breath. I'm like, we gotta sit down, but we're in the middle of this forest. There's no, there are no benches, so I'm like out of breath. <sighs> Oh my god! And at the same oh time, god. are you guys trying to get to know each other as you're yes. walking? Yes. So she's like asking me about my childhood and stuff. So every time I had to like breathe, she, every time I had to like breathe heavy, I would ask her like a question that requires a long answer. Oh, and then you catch up. Like then I catch slow, up my breath. Slow your heart. Oh. Slow your heart rate down a little bit. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Tell me about your parents. Deep breath into the nose, <sighs> out to the mouth. Are we almost there? Are how long there? did how long did this, uh, this excursion last? Yeah, this excursion. It this felt trek. like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like a it was like a couple of hours. 
So at the end of it, like, did you guys see each other after that? Uh, no. I'm always curious about these things. Like, for those one-offs, are there ever, like, <laughs> it sounds so weird, but, like, like some sort of feedback? Like, yeah, you know what? Honestly, um, it was great hanging out with you and everything. It just, um, I just don't think it's there. Oh, like a job interview? Something like that. That's like yeah. That's, to... I know. Sometimes, sometimes I'm like, yeah. I wonder if they. Well, sometimes, sometimes they they do. Sometimes it just, just like no, just like nobody contacts each other. So after that one, you didn't reach out. She didn't reach out, and that's kind of how you know whether. Uh yeah. Well, what happened was um, like I liked her, but she lived um very far up north because my bumble um search radius is like a million miles <laughs> like anybody what is the if radius we can match if we can the match. galaxy <laughs> the entire planet there's the this entire- thing on there's this thing on tinder where you can like set your location to like mexico <laughs> and you can like match. i'm like i don't know why i guess i guess like if you're traveling a lot yeah like hey i'm coming to mexico so let's set up some dates or something you okay know? okay so no, because what happened was because my parents live in uh, Palmerston, and we matched in Palmerston. Right. So th- she lives, she lives like an hour from there. Because from here, from my place Holy in Etobicoke, uh, Palmerston is like an hour and a half. Yeah. So that's like another hour. Another Holy hour. Sh- Jesus. And um, from what she was telling me, she was like, she's looking for because she has a a, a child. Mm-hmm. She's with a child, and so she's looking. She's looking for someone to like live there yeah that's something that i did not know <laughs> so so i was like oh, okay i guess i guess there's no so are these like because i mean how much how much time did you guys talk before getting on this date um usually a few days like maybe all right a week so or something. in those few days that that was already laid out like i'm looking for this 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 and this kind of thing no Oh, this was on the on the trek of up Kilimanjaro. Uh, no, what happened was um, just like a job interview, Kevin. The night before the big oh. interview, you, <laughs> you look at your notes. You know, let's say you're applying for a job at Walmart. Okay, <laughs> so you go to Walmart.com and you look up the company history, and you're like, "Oh, great stuff." Yeah. You know, you got to learn about this company. So I actually looked at her bio and at the bottom it said, uh, looking for someone to live here with oh, me, with my child. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So right. Yeah. The she knows before, what she wants. She knows what she wants. Yeah. Yeah. It was my fault for not reading the whole profile. The so fine the, print, brother. The fine print. You gotta, yeah. And this was like the night before. So yeah. I'm like, oh, no. How am I gonna? <laughs> oh man! But the so that one went. That was just a one-off. Today, is that like a, like a, was there any connection there? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Like I liked her. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Because like yeah. So here's here's how it works, Kev. So um, look at that fancy thing on the back of your phone. Is that the oh? A little pop socket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here, here's how 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 dating in 2022 works. So uh, you go on a first date, and then sometimes nobody messages. Like maybe maybe that date there's no connection or something, and there's no contact. You know, it's like it's done. We just mm-hmm. we we um we we go our separate ways, or sometimes you think there's a connection. And you try to get a second date or something, and then they're like, "No," <laughs> and they're like, "Sorry, sorry, Ernie, uh, there's no connection here." I sorry, Ernie, you to... uh, there's uh, no place for you in this company. Yeah, there's no place for you. I'm sorry, we uh, we we hired someone else who can climb this hill without. <laughs> we appreciate without your down. interest in the company, but uh, going forward. There'll be no place for you here. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. 
we'll see how this uh well, this goes. All right. Well, I mean, at least you're getting out there. Yes. Yes, Kevin. Because then the last thing you want to do is stay locked up on lockdown. Uh, I guess. Yeah. But what else? What, what can you do right now? You know? Well, just to go back to that. So these people have like that one girl had a bit of a criteria. What's Ernie looking for in this? Just in case there's somebody who isn't one of our friends who might be listening, or maybe well, one of our friends might know somebody that might fit this criteria for Ernie of what you're searching for. <laughs> well, I'm uh, looking for someone who likes uh, long walks on the beach. <laughs> and, um, who can swim? Because I cannot swim. So who doesn't and, like uh, hiking? Does not like hiking. <laughs> no, here's the thing, Kev. I actually love walking. When I lived downtown, I would walk every night, 10,000 steps. Easy. Yes, I remember walk this. around, Walk around CNE, Ontario Place. I love it. Love the view. Lake Ontario, is it? That's right. Ocean, Ocean, Ontario. Ocean, is it? Ontario. Yeah, Ontario Ocean. Yeah. They, they call, is that right? Is that no, true? No, no, no. Well, I was like, it's, it's Lake Ontario. I was like, did I, did I miss this? Did they change it? <laughs> it's the Ontario not, Ocean. <laughs> I don't follow Lake Ontario on Twitter, <laughs> so I have no idea. Yeah, so Lake Ontario, I'd walk around there. Great, you know, because like here's like I put my uh, my my uh, my ear ear pods, <laughs> sure, AirPods, whatever. Uh, and then walk around, like listen to music. Great time, you know. Sometimes on acid, whatever. Great time, but I'm by myself. Listen to music, love it. I walk at my own pace, Kev. That's the that's the that's the point. I think that's what it is. Yeah, but then the hike, she's so like fit. So she was like going fast. And I'm like, oh, tell me more about the drive here. I was like, oh, there's a difference though. There's a huge difference because I mean, you're walking on level level ground. There's nothing else that you really need to worry about other than moving your left foot or your right foot in front of each other. Uh, you look out for obstacles that might hit you like a car or whatever. But for the most part, you're on level level ground you don't have to worry about that mm -hmm. when you're hiking up those things you have to you can't you have to be actively aware of your surroundings <laughs> like there's a rock over there but you can't step on that so it's probably better if you hop on that log or whatever it is so that you don't fall to your death kind of thing so you can't i don't know some people find it relaxing when they're walking out in the wilderness but i i I kind of like the the long walks, like just on a level. Level, yeah, like a nice park yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah, a parking lot. Parking lot, yeah. But th yeah, this one was like there's like rocks and like mud everywhere. Oh. yeah. And then I have to pay like twenty bucks. <laughs> like, although I will say it is nice though. It is nice, and I I see how people appreciate that. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm all for the I'm all for the views. Yeah, that's why I love. That's why I moved here. Lovely view of Etobicoke. Um, oh, 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 I forgot to tell you. Uh, that girl, the girl from, um, uh, like, up north, mm -hmm. the child, uh, she was the one that, uh, so, like, you know, when you um, when you match with someone on, on Bumble, just like, a, just like a job interview, you Google them. You Google, what is this guy about? Can I trust this guy? Mm -hmm. So she Googled me. And she actually listened uh, to some of our, our episodes, our past. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, now you, you should marry her. I was about to, Kev. But then she uh, dropped this bombshell. She was like, <laughs> great podcast. You guys have great chemistry. I was like, but, but what? She's but like, you have to move up here. But, no. She was like, but, uh, you know, uh, it was good. And then I lost interest when you guys start talking about wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not alone, sister. I think most women do when uh, when men start talking about wrestling. You know what? And I was looking at our, um, our, um, our, um, our, our, you know, our gender. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the, uh, our demographic? Gender, gender demographics. Gender okay. and demographic, and more than fifty percent of our listeners are females. Right. So, if we're listening to the demographic, 
then we should not talk about wrestling. No. We should talk about our feelings, maybe. Yes. So I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing the the over fifty percent uh, female audience is uh, Mary Tess and uh, your wife. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, um, and then my two dates. Right. Yeah. So we have six. Wait, the other, the other one, the the one from today. Listen to the podcast as well. Oh no! I actually know. I don't know. I don't oh. think so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Well, maybe she'll listen to this one and be like, oh, my God, he hated the mall. It was my idea. I'm and surprised I, he went to the mall. I mean, I mean, there's nowhere else to go, but uh, especially just with, with everything that's going on, like everyone's just catching the cocoa. Well, I've been, uh, I've been like, I've, been th- I've actually been thinking about like, like doing those, uh, like a date at like Walmart. And stuff like that. But now I'm like, I can't. It's too much. It's tough. I mean, like, I guess it's different if if you go there and like there's a pre like you guys talk about it, like, oh, I need a I need some stuff from Walmart. Like you can't just aimlessly walk through. It's like you have to be there for with a purpose. And then within that purpose, you know, she's helping you. You're helping her find stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. If it was like like Christmas shopping or something. Exactly. We have tasks. But you know what? It, I was, actually, you know what? Think about it right now. It's actually kind of tough too because, um, let's say, I, let's say I want to go to a store, mm-hmm. and then she doesn't. You know, then she just has to like wait for like a few minutes. Well, that's, see, that's the thing. I think that's like that's kind of where you have to be a little bit strategic. So it's like, if it's Walmart that you got to go to, then just keep it at Walmart because I I think that the more you move around. I think the less like you start to lose them, right? You start to lose them after. All right, we're going to go to Walmart. Then we're going to go to uh, Radio Shack. And then we're going to go to Radio Shack. (laughs) How old are you, dude? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we're going to pass by a Wolco and uh, pick up some sweaters. Simpsons and then Byway (laughs) and Zellers. You know what? We actually met at uh, you know Square One uh, Food District. Have you been there? Is that the new the, the new, new yeah the new place yeah okay. So we met up at there uh, at the at the entrance there, and then I was because <laughs> I, I you know how we, we grew up here in Mississauga. Yeah. So she she came she she was from uh, Montreal. So she she's well she's only been here for three years. Oh okay. So I was like, she's like, oh I love Food District blah blah, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Back in my day. This was uh, Zellers. <laughs> I gave her this whole history <laughs> lesson, and then, and, then said, and then after that, it was a target. Let me tell you another thing. In the year when I first got my license, in the front of this mall, I got stuck on a curb in my Jeep <laughs> Cherokee. <laughs> Hazel McCallion was the mayor at the time. Oh, yes, the population of this great uh, city is um, <laughs> 200,000 people. But at the same time, I mean, like, you're kind of any kind of input for a first date, especially one that's kind of a little bit unorthodox like that one. Oh, it's so weird. So stupid. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Zellers. Remember Zellers? Oh, man. <laughs> Is she around our age or was she? Uh, you know? She's a little young. Well, she's 35. She's little oh, young. Okay. Well, she would kind of know. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. She knew. Yeah. She knew. But like, I'm like, who cares? Why would you tell me this? Like, <laughs> and then she grabbed her phone. She's like, I have to leave now. This guy's giving me a, a, a lecture on sellers. Call me right now and say that there's an emergency <laughs> that's, what, that's what i was thinking i was like oh my god it's uh, five minutes in <laughs> oh jeez. have you uh have you gotten sick in the last little bit or have you even caught it even the uh the cocoa oh yeah, yeah I, I did oh you did 
Yeah, did you? No, not yet. What is it? Yeah. When did you get it? Um, it was like in December. It was like right before Christmas. Fuck off. Like to the point where you missed Christmas or like this was enough time? No, it was like Christmas. It was like right before Christmas, like, like December 23rd. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you found out. Uh, so, yeah. So then obviously you didn't get to go see your family and stuff. No. I was like stuck here. It's just Ernie. And, oh. Was that Kinda sad? Sucked. Kind of sucked. But um, yeah, no, because I, I, I was doing all these shows because mm-hmm. uh, I was doing a lot of Christmas corporate shows and stuff like that. Yep. And um, the numbers were growing. You know what I mean? Like they were like in the thousands. Yeah. And then people were like panicking. I was like, I was like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> you know? And then um, we have um, like comedian Christmas parties. And then I was talking to other comics and they're like, they're like some of them were like, no, we're not going to go anymore because of like COVID. We don't want to miss like Christmas and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. You're right. So I, I, I skipped out on some of these parties. And then I went shopping, and then uh, like so I don't know where I got it from because I did not go to those parties, you know. So then I you know I just woke up one day and I was like, I feel very bad, Ooh. like like something's wrong because I haven't been I haven't been sick in two years, right? Even before like the the first lockdown, I haven't been sick since yes yeah, since like around this time, around like New Year's. And um, yeah, I was like, I was like, something's wrong. And then so I got a, I got a, a test, and then it said like the two lines thing. And I was like, no fucking way. Was it, so you did one of those rapid tests? The rapid test, yeah. Uh, so like some family members got it, and I just did one because I didn't have close contact, but I had like I was in the vicinity kind of sort of thing, not for very long. So um, I did one of those rapid tests. I don't. Like there's there's no other kind of anxiety feeling than when you drop those five things into yeah. that little circle, and then you just watch that fucking thing just go yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the other way, and you're just like holy shit, and it tells you 15 minutes, like the anxiety just builds up. But mine was negative, thankfully. But um, unfortunately, you didn't, you, you or yours wasn't, and but for the most part, you felt just like a, a regular flu because i've heard so well, many yeah, the, different things well, like the first day the first day because i'm like i'm double vaxxed uh-huh. so I just have the i just have the two and then um so the first day yeah like a fever um but i was like i was, I was okay like you know like if i had a job mm-hmm. or something if i worked you know at wolco <laughs> like i can i think i could i could work it wasn't like oh i can't i can't like walk around but it's just like you feel sick, you know. Like you know you're you're sick, right. you know. Because like back in the day, we would, you know, when I worked at Burger King, I remember I'd I'd go to work sick, like yeah, yeah, like yeah, nothing. yeah. Most people would do that if they had. The yeah, and then I remember it, at Burger King, I would feel better at the end of the shift. It's because you almost like you sweat it out or you work it out, kind of something thing. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like yeah, so so the first day was just like a fever. Um, like I don't have a th- I even have a thermometer here, but I can just like okay, this is hot. <laughs> then, uh, yes. But like <laughs> COVID. Put your hand on your head. Yep. Put yeah. ice. Like oh, that's melting. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> no, yeah. And then uh, I saw like a, like a like a cough. Um, but like yeah, the the rest of the days, like, yeah, it was like, it was like fine. But just I just kept testing like uh, every other day, and then um, by like the yeah the, by the the fifth day it was like cleared. Mm. you know but then you know what um it kind of sucked missing christmas because like my my family did um the it was, it was like a facetime like yeah. when they're eating and they put the phone there and i'm just like watching and i'm like oh like you were there while they were eating like you're sorry you're on like a zoom or whatever FaceTime. yeah so i'm just i'm just like on the couch watching them like they're all you know they're all dressed up in like christmas clothes and i was like oh so 
did they like send over something like that? Whatever they were eating, they they sent over to you so that you guys were eating the same thing, or were you? No, eating, like, no, not like sky flakes. Not like that. But but a few people have uh they 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 sent me like Uber Eats like my sister, uh, like my cousins, uh, yeah, Lowell, Derwin. They they heard about it. So then they yeah they would Uber Eats uh, me stuff. So that That's yeah nice. that, was, that was so cool. Thank you if you're listening. I didn't get to say thank you. I just, I just ate it. But even that, even that, it's almost kind of awkward too. Just being on the FaceTime call while they're eating, it's almost just like, okay, guys, just, just call me at midnight. Yeah, and like I'm, I'm like vaping. I'm like, I want to, <laughs> like just want to get off camera so I can vape. <laughs> That's what I thought the cough was because I'm like, I thought the cough was just like, you know, vape cough. But now, see, like you mentioned, like you don't know where you got it from. I, I don't even know if it's like a thing anymore where you have to even trace it. I think it's just one of those. It's just you're it's not a question of if you're going to get it. It's just when you're going to get it. Yeah, because people are like, who, who gave it to you? You know? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, like, don't worry. Not, <laughs> it could be anywhere. Like, <laughs> You go to the grocery store, you use carts, you open yeah, doors. Yeah, like it could be like it could be right here, like in the, in the elevator or like exactly. the garage. Or, like, you know, cause exactly. Like, um, I I didn't think it was I didn't think it was COVID because like I remember I was I was um because usually like what I heard was the the symptoms were you can't uh, smell or taste right right so I'm like I'm like I'm like spraying like Febreze I'm like I can smell that and I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like eating cookies I'm like I can I can taste these cookies I don't have COVID <laughs> so I'm like I'm fine this is just a cold I'm just coughing. But like, nothing was like nothing was crazy severe. Like so, I've heard people say like the chills were so bad, like the body aches were so painful, and blah blah blah. And these are from like double vax people. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, it was it was very you know flu like. Um, yeah, like the symptoms weren't weren't as severe, so you know it was all right. You know, but it just sucks that like. It was during Christmas of all times. I know. <laughs> but then you guys got to see each other in uh, New Year's, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, but I stayed here for the like the countdown stuff, just in case. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like, you never know. I don't know if like, if like well, that's true. false negatives or whatever. I don't know what to believe anymore. Yeah, I have no idea. If you don't know so, what to believe, just go to our, our friends group chat and, and you'll find all the information from all the top doctors. Oh, to, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Google. Watch a Dr. Googles. <laughs> so <laughs> to bring it around. Before we get out of here, uh, I just want to bring it around to, um, I want to tell you this because I'm, I love Christmas, Kevin. Yes, I know. I know. This is the is one of your, uh, if not your absolute favorite, it is uh, top two, I'd say. Yes, I love it so much. But I I found that this year, because um, I met up with Jer, Jeremiah. Our friend Jeremiah. Yeah. Our friend Jeremiah. Uh, like in November, mid-November. Around the same time that I met up with you at your work. Right, okay. Yeah. It was like mid-November, right? Um yeah, so we met up, and then he was, because CHFI, they play Christmas music <clears throat> right after Halloween. So he was listening to it at mid-November. He's like, are you listening to this? Are you listening to this, uh, these Christmas uh, carols and whatever? And I'm like, no, it's too early. It's <laughs> I love Christmas, but like, that's too early. <laughs> you know? So then I was like, okay, whatever. But then like a month later, it's like December you know, fifteenth, and then I'm like, I'm still not. Yeah, I'm still not listening to Christmas music. You're not the only one, man. At least, like from my from my view, it didn't feel like Christmas to me. It still felt weird. Yeah, it still right? felt weird. I, I think I only said Merry Christmas to about like I don't know three people. I yeah, didn't. Yeah, but... I just. I didn't really feel it. Like it just. It just. Yeah didn't feel like Christmas. It just felt like a, a holiday. I'm not sure which one, but it just felt like a holiday. I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the, the pandemic or or what, but something was off. 
yeah, no, no, definitely. No, I definitely felt that as well. And I think even for us, we had our, because technically you're not supposed to put your decorations up until after Remembrance Day, right? It's just supposed to be like as a sign of respect. And yes, November 11th. Yeah, so the 12th, we had all our Christmas stuff. On the 26th, everything was gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Because once I was released from uh, this glorious prison, <laughs> after my uh, seven days, yeah, I ran. I ran outside to the Sherway Gardens. And um, this is because this, this is like New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. And um, I ran around. I was like, I missed all the, you know, you know what I mean? It's like I, I had all the, the Christmas decorations, you know, but you just never appreciate it, you know? But then, like, when I was in lockdown, I was like, oh, man, I miss those decorations. Like, just walking around, you know, like, the hustle and bustle. Like, that's why I love doing Christmas shopping, like, near the end. Yeah. Because I love the hustle and bustle. Like, oh, man, I, I forgot this, the wrapping paper. I'm like, oh, man. I love it. So I, I ran to Sherway Gardens, and just like you, there were no Christmas decorations. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? And then, like, people, it was, like, normal. It was, like, an... It was it was pretty empty because it was it was like a, was it Friday afternoon? Yeah, I think yeah, New Year's Eve was Friday afternoon. Yeah, yeah, and it was you know, it was like a work day, but or Friday, sorry, it was Friday. Yeah, yeah, it was like a, it, was, you know, it was still a work day and like it was empty, but like all Christmas decorations gone and like no one had that. You know what I mean? Like uh, like a, like a week before, like when when I was doing like, Christmas shopping, like people are still like running around with like bags. Here it was like Christmas never happened. Yeah. I was like, I was like, how long have I been gone? <laughs> what happened here? The year is 2030, sir. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's what most people are just. I mean, nobody wants to leave it up because I mean, I don't know if anybody. I could be wrong. I'm sure there's a good chunk of people who really felt uh, like the Christmas that, that Christmas spirit, but I don't. Oh, I, I, sure. Even me, I just didn't feel it. In, you know how you can just tell in the air, it's like, ah, oh, it's almost Christmas. You know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. There's, there's a there's a vibe or whatever it is. Yeah. Just, but there was nothing like that. There's nothing like that. This yeah. Year. Oh, you I know what? You know what? I think because the past, uh, well, before the pandemic, uh, I'll go to like a bunch of like, you know, we would have like our big Christmas party, you know? Yeah. Like, the, like the, our friends. And then I would, like, I would have like a bunch of like, um, like, um, comedian uh, parties you know and that's when you, that's when you get the spirit because like when people are leaving because usually they go back to like their they go um you know they go back to like uh wherever they're from to, mm-hmm. to go visit their family and then they're like oh yeah my flight's tomorrow oh merry christmas you know but like there was no there was no parties this year so i think i think maybe that's why maybe that's what it is and, and, and things are becoming more and more foreign like i don't know like just even socially it's it's getting i guess people are just a little more awkward like i know before the restrictions where you can still eat in a restaurant um my old boss and some of her team invited me out to go for lunch and then just before we left my boss my old boss was like oh can i give you a hug and then uh there's another person there they're like uh can I give you a hug too? I was like, yeah, sure. I was like, oh, you're not coming in anymore. Like after, like before Christmas, he's like, no, 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 I'll be here next week. And I was like, why the fuck are we hugging then? <laughs> get, sir, get off me. It was always like, oh, Merry Christmas, man. Like you're not going to be in next week or you're not going to be in before Christmas. He's like, no, no, I'll be in next week. Like, oh, get the Come fuck man. off me then. What do you? <laughs> Every day, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Todd, geez. <laughs> I do think though, I think that when people come back to some form of normal of their of, of pre-pandemic, people come back to offices and stuff like that. I think people are just gonna be weird. Just socially awkward because they don't we don't know anymore. Yo, you know what? When I was when I was stuck here for like that week, uh yeah, going back out into public, into the public, I was like, how does this how does this work? Because I haven't, you know what I mean? I haven't seen like I haven't had any, but that was only like seven days. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, well, how do I, how do yeah. I do this? Yeah. People are going to be weird because nowadays you don't even know. Like when you see people, you're like, 
can you hug them? Do they even want to be hugged? Uh, so sometimes you, you, you just don't, and then it just creates this weird awkwardness. It just uh, no, even like just, fist bumps. You're like fist bump, and then yeah, You're like oh, here's you, your elbow. Do uh, the elbow thing. Yeah, it's gonna be. I, I think. I think this pandemic uh, has is is definitely going to change people. Probably, I'd say for the worse for at least a little while. Uh, yeah, but you know what? In the past summer and stuff, like I was like, it was it was getting back to normal, uh, for me, and um, like I thought it was done. I thought it was like ah, this is it's pretty much over. <laughs> we got yeah, we yeah. got we got vaccinated, <laughs> so I think we're good. And then the numbers kept going up. I was like, Ugh, I don't know about this one. And then Omarion came. <laughs> But even just think about it, like even like the the, the amount of like division that it, it, it's created with like you know the vaxxed and the unvaxxed and and within our own group chat, our own friends group chat, you see the division and like the differences and how it it's like no, I'm right and no, no, no. no I know. I'm right. like, what's the point? What's yeah. the point of fighting? Like, there's no winners. No, there isn't. There isn't. Whether yeah. you you get it, you don't. You can still get it and. But we don't know who's right. We don't know who's I wrong. wonder. I wonder if, like, in, in doctors' group chats like that, are they like, no, watch this. I told you. <laughs> I told you it was going to last two more months. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Because nobody really knows what, what, what the next one's going to bring and what the next variant's going to be like. They say this one's going to be... Um, it might be good that everyone's getting it because it creates like a, a herd immunity kind of thing. But they said that about the vaccines, right? They said, you know, once you get your second one, GTG, you're good to go. But uh, yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. But I don't know. We'll see. But um, you know what, Kev, we've gone like an hour here. Oh yeah. This is the Probably longest. Gonna, we might have to make this two episodes. This is the, no, 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 no. There you go. There you go. That's what I want to hear. You know what, Kev? I learned. I learned my lesson. I'm not gonna edit. I just, I just add some, add some graphics, add some fonts, and that's it. You know, I that's remember about the the first one. I, I, I would like uh, take out like the dead space. I'm like, no, podcasts are for that. Yeah, and I don't think we had all that much dead space today. No, I know, but like I remember like. Like this, like if I if I go, well, um, anyways, like I'll, I'll shorten that that um, you know, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah. I think when I was editing it, I was I was thinking of when I edit like or inspire, and how because like I make it like two minutes. So like well, because those it. two minutes count, right? Like you have to make yeah. you can't have dead space and stuff. Like yeah, that. I can't be like um. Anyways, uh, the second way to be happy. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then I'm like, because I'm listening to other podcasts. I'm like, no one does this. No one edits. Like, just I think everyone's record. just doing it's. It's all. It's all for fun, right? Like at the end of the day, it shouldn't be work. It's. It should just be. It should just be fun. So yeah, yeah. I mean, whether you know you put an intro in, you don't put an intro. Whatever. I made a new intro. I saw that. I really like <laughs> that one. It's like we're newscasters. Yeah, we travel the world. That was That's like. It. There was a there was a shot of the city with uh, Ocean Ontario. Yes, the Ocean Ontario, <laughs> the Ontario Ocean. <laughs> on the mm. um, on the the next one, on the next episode, we should talk about. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but you need to watch it. Encanto. I've been wanting to watch it. Yes. No, Ernst, watch it. Watch it. It's, it's so that good, good right? Yeah. It's that good. I, I I stand behind that one and I've watched like I want to say like 40 times already since like it came out. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was gonna watch it. I was gonna watch it during uh my, my COVID lockdown. Especially because yeah, you, you might uh you might identify with it. It's really good, it's really well done. Interesting. Okay, all right, maybe I'll Watch it tonight. We'll see. Yeah, well, I've been watching a lot of TV, like, uh, like too much, like Yellowstone, Ooh, that's Succession. Cool. I want to watch that one. Love it, Succession. Um, Will Kirby enthusiasm? Uh, Dexter. 
the new one. Mm-hmm. You know, but but the thing that sucks is like they're all they're all done. You know, so like you just rewatching. So, well, not really. Well, now I'm just like um, I'm looking for new things to watch. So maybe Encanto. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'll check it out. Yeah, people have been telling me to watch it. So I heard the soundtrack is amazing. Oh, it's so good, so good. I listened to it on my way to work and on my way home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've I've heard some of the songs, but like I guess because I haven't seen it, it doesn't really. You'll get it. I, I, again. We'll talk about it on the next one, but like they they've made it in such a way that anybody can connect to somebody in in that in that um, in that movie. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll watch it. All I'll right. It well. That's been a great episode. It's been an hour, so thank you, Kev, for uh, listening. And uh, how does this outro work? This how does this work again? Bye. Oh, um, <laughs> but you, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find me on uh, on Instagram and Twitter at Ernie Vicente and Kevin. Ah, uh, you can find me on Instagram at uh, Kev Various K E V V A R I A S. All right, then we'll see you again. We'll see you again. We'll see you guys. We'll unless see you guys we'll again. see, we'll see you unless the lockdown is lifted. Then unless it's lifted, so we'll see you on the next lockdown. <laughs> All right. All right. Doodles. Toodles. <laughs>